Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I'm your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they so want, need, and desire by implementing simple tips and proven strategies. So today we are going to talk about your five fears. Yes, the five fears that could potentially be killing your chances of finding and keeping love right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So the five fears that could potentially be killing your chances of finding and keeping love. The very first fear. Yes, the very first fear is clinginess. Yes, honey, clinginess. And uh, one of the reasons why we start to be clingy within our relationships is because of something that happened to us in the past. Usually some hurt, maybe some type of abandonment. Somebody walked away from you, whether in your familial relationships, i.e. one of your parents or guardian, or the last relationship or the last two relationships, whatever, however many relationships that did occur. And now you are just acting overly like anytime the person wants to walk outside the door, anytime they leave, anytime they try to go to the gym, anytime, hey. Maybe even when they try to go to work. Okay, <laughs> you think that you're supposed to be right attached to their hip for fear that you have not taken care of. So you start to act jealous or maybe you start to act anxious or maybe you start to um, look at your partner like, uh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what's, what, what are they doing? What, what's going on there? And all of these feelings are starting to come up. From within, from deep within, even something that you might have thought you've gotten away from or that wasn't going to bother you anymore. Now all of these things are starting to come up and overall you're starting to look and act desperate to your partner. Making them actually look at you sideways like, uh, this person too clingy. But what they're really saying is, I need to get the hell on. <laughs> because... You're being too needy. You're holding on too tight. And with all of that, they feeling like they are in a cage when they're around you. And nobody wants to feel like they're in a cage when they're around you. They want to, to they want the relationship to be fun, right? You want the relationship to be exciting. Not like as soon as the person walks away, or if you are the person who is walking away to go do whatever it is that you're going to do, that you feel like I don't want to tell them because then they're going to feel sad or they're going to want to go or they're going to have a million and 15,000 questions. To, yeah, a million and 15,000 questions to ask before I even walk outside the door. And because I don't want none of that, none of that in the relationship that I am in, what I'm going to choose to do is just walk away, stop calling you or even ghost you. So let some of that go. Let some of that fear go deal with your fear and we're going to talk about that in a future video but you got to let you got to let that fear go because that neediness that clinginess is actually killing your chances of finding and keeping the love of your life all right family let's talk about that second fear that is killing your chances of finding and keeping love which is control yes control when we have a tendency to feel scared about something or something that we feel that we cannot control, i.e. the other person, yeah, all of this, because we feel threatened for whatever reason, we, we try to control and dominate our partners, which ultimately does not work out. You may even try to set rules about what they can and cannot do. But that don't work out in the long haul. Again, because you're trying to control the person and control the situation because of some stuff that happened before that you didn't feel in control of or that you lost control of. And so now you're trying to get that control back. Everything has to go the way that you need it to go. So you feel secure. But it's actually a false sense of security. The reason why you're trying to control the situation is because of your own insecurities that are now coming to the surface. 
and you're trying to find a way to alleviate these insecurities. So because of that, you're trying to control your partner, which again, does not work out because nobody wants to feel control. Even if they are letting you control them because they have their own insecurities, deep down inside, they will find a way to sabotage your control over them. The third thing that could be killing your chances of finding and keeping love is that good old thing we call re rejection. Yes, so you don't want to feel rejected. So what you start to do within your relationship is you start to become aloof. Right? Nothing bothers you. Doesn't matter. Whatever. And so more of those ways that you can become aloof is actually you start to become cold to your partner. Right? You're turning off the heat because you acting like you don't care. But you really do. You also start to withhold things from your partner because, again, deep down inside you're feeling this anxious feeling. But they can't know that about you. So, eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. So, I'm going to be hot or cold, which in this case, most of the times you're being cold. But I'm not going to let you in like that because the only thing that you know is I don't care. And all of those things brought together has started to stir something up and now you feel scared or insecure about it. And so guess what? Now you got a retreat. And the way that you retreat is becoming aloof to your partner, to the relationship. I don't care, whatever. But deep down inside, you truly care. So that whole rejection thing, that can keep you from finding and keeping love for sure. Because you think that it's protecting you, and it is, but only for a short period of time. It's also killing your chances of being completely open and happy and in a joyful relationship because you're holding back. Or in this case, you're being aloof, so I don't care, whatever, but you really do. The fourth thing that you could be doing that kills your chances of finding and keeping the love that you want is withholding from your partner, from your spouse. You maybe even start to withhold like some of the little affections that you are used to giving. So now you pull them back or maybe you just take them away altogether. Because there's some type of punishment that you have to give to your partner, to your spouse. <laughs> withholding actually seems like a passive act but actually it is a killer of passion yes it is a killer of passion the fifth and final thing that you could be doing to kill your chances of keeping and finding love is you punish your partner you punish your spouse over and over and over again Maybe it's that conversation that you keep bringing up that you really need to let go of. Or maybe it's that act that they have done a time or two and you tired of talking to them about that. And so you're finding a way to be mean, disrespectful. You're finding some way to punish your partner. Maybe you don't cook for them. Or maybe you cook for everybody but them. Or maybe you wash everybody's clothes but they clothes. Or maybe you go out to dinner, everybody didn't eat, and then you you and the family come back home all full, but no not even no food for your spouse. So you find ways to punish them. Or maybe you are one of those people who the world has done something wrong to you, but you take it out on your spouse. So the very person that you want to love and cherish you and respect you is now succumbing to all of the things that somebody else put on you and now you're taking it out on them. So again, you're finding a way to punish your spouse about something that they could have done or maybe it's something that they didn't do at all, but that's the person that you get a chance to correct, to control, to reject so you can have all of the power. So fam, did any of this resonate with any of you out there? I would definitely want to hear your comments down in the comment section below because guess what? This only hurts you. It does not help you in the long run. You thinking that you are protecting yourself when in reality you're actually rejecting yourself. You're actually punishing your own self. 
by doing any of these things in the long run. Yes, in the shorthand, you'd be like, yeah, I proved my point. I let him know or I let her know, right? But in the long run, you're the one who's sitting around without someone to have a meaningful conversation with, to truly connect with, to let down your guard, to take off your mask and be the true you. In the long run, you're hurting yourself. So sis, so bruh, what you gonna do? I'll see you guys in a future video. Deuces.